What's up? It's Nano on Trails, and I'm going to take you on a little detour today and talk about the finer points of constructing a jigsaw puzzle. As you can see, I'm working on a puzzle right this very minute, and this has 1,500 pieces. Eventually, they'll all look like this image. Keep the box handy as you're constructing your puzzle so that you can refer to it often. But how did we get to this point? I'll tell you. I picked a table that was large enough to show all the pieces face up. Now there's two kinds of puzzle pieces. There's those that have a flat surface like this one and all the other ones that are a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. First of all, you want to construct your border. Keep in mind there are four corners to your puzzle and then all the other edge pieces go in between these, also called your border. Once you have the border constructed, then you can start working on the guts of the puzzle. Walk around the table and pick up like colors on your puzzle pieces and put them in a spot within the border and start putting them together, referring often to your image. Once you have all those pieces together, you will find out that it looks exactly like this image. Now don't get deterred if you find out that at the end of the puzzle making you have a missing puzzle piece because it could have been gobbled up by your cat, your dog, or your vacuum cleaner. And let's talk about what we do with the puzzle once it's all constructed. Well, you can make it a work of art like this one and hang it on the wall and look at it often and think about what a great accomplishment you have made.